Hey guys, and welcome back to Manny's by Megan. In today's video, I'm actually going to be reviewing the Double Dip brand that you all might have been seeing lately in a lot of YouTube videos and on Instagram. Um, I actually had a little bit of a different experience than everybody else. Um, I was offered a package and I happened to live very close to their warehouse. So I actually got to go pick it up and meet some of the customer um, service associates and stuff. So I actually, um, they did give me the little brown box just like everybody else got, but um, I actually opened it up just to make it a little bit easier to show you guys. So I did get these three dip powders and uh, I pre-swatched them just because I didn't want to waste too much time for you guys. And I like to know um, what I'm going to put on my nails before I do it. So. Um, the first thing uh, about the package was, I really do wish that um, the colors were coordinated so that way I could wear them together because I don't think, I think I could probably wear these two together, um, but the green one definitely, maybe for an Easter Manny I could use these two together. Um, but anyway, for this particular video, I'm actually just gonna be using one color. Um, and I'll tell you what the names are. So the green one is Midori. And it's really pretty. It has a light shimmer to it and it's um, kind of hard to see here, but it's a very light shimmer. It's a really pretty green. And then the brownish pink color is actually called brown sugar, which is really cute. So I really want to wear this one. So that's the one I'm going to wear. And then we have the pink, which is called Marshmallow. So I actually happened to go into their um, their store, which is in Garland, Texas, and that's where they ship some of their product from. I'm not sure if they have multiple or not. And I got to meet um, three really cute customer service ladies, and I um, saw their huge setup of how many colors they have. I mean, it was a huge wall. I'll actually try to um, post it in this YouTube video so you guys can see. There were more colors than, I mean, it was just amazing. I can't even describe how many colors they have. So if you're looking for options, this company definitely has options. The kit also came with instructions. Um, it has their website, their Instagram, and their email address. Um, on the back, it's got a quick set of instructions here. And then if you open it up, it's got some more in-depth instructions, as well as a little QR code that you can scan, um, and that'll help you um, with the instructions as well. And then they also gave me a cute little note, which was in the box. I'm not gonna open it up, um, but I thought it was really cute because they folded it in like a little heart origami. And once I read it, I actually folded it back. So pretty proud of myself. I was able to fold that back. They did also offer me while I was in the store, a cute mask and um, the mask is so comfortable. So I don't know if they're gonna be offering these on their site or not, but I'll be wearing mine because it's really comfortable, really breathable. Um, and then you can wash it. So, and I think if you pull on these, like it'll give you more, a little bit more length. And if you loosen it up, it'll give you a little bit of less length. So depending on how you need to wear it. I thought this was really cute. Um, and then I did not open, so they also gave me a little brush, which I won't be using just because I like to use a stiff brush, but I think for a beginner's kit, this might be good. This is really super soft. So like if you were applying makeup, this would be great. Um, I didn't open this part. So this part I'll open in front of you guys and I'm not really sure what's in it, but based on other videos I've seen, I think I know what's in it. So it's got this cute little silky bag and um, then everything's nicely bubble wrapped, which I think is great. I love when um, the product is safe if this were being shipped to me, I would love it to be shipped this way. So that way I know it wasn't gonna be damaged on the way to me. 
so inside this package is a set of their liquids and then obviously um, okay so we have a buffer block a little file which I won't be using I'll be using my own but for a starter kit it's great I'm actually going to try um, their orange stick because that actually looks like it's got a nice point to it so I think I'll be trying that and I'll use their buffer block because it's similar to um, the ones that I use actually but it's like double the size so it's like two in one um, so I'll try that, but, and then if I contaminate the liquids, then there's extra brushes there. So I'll take that out and I will take out this little stick. So I will plan to use those. I'm gonna use my own file. Um, and then it also comes with this little thank you card. And their secret beauty circle. Um, they do have a Facebook group and I'll link that in the description box. Um, and then they also told me that if I had any issues with anything to please let them know so they could take care of it. So I thought that was really sweet. Um, and let's see, we have, I'm pretty familiar with the product because I've seen a couple of videos about it already. So I know that this is gonna be their base, their activator and their um, top coat as well as a cuticle oil and the liquids do look nice and thin this is the top coat so the top coat is blue the this just says two this is the dip base dip base is number two so that's number four I'm not sure what number one is but it might be a primer and it's not included in here but I don't use a primer anyway so um Go ahead and uh, yeah, number three is activator. And then I'm gonna assume that this is the cuticle oil. It is not labeled, but I'm gonna go ahead and just smell it real quick because I can probably tell pretty quickly. Yeah, it smells a little sweet. So that's cuticle oil. So we have the liquids right here, color coordinated so you don't mess it up. And then, um, yeah, if you're not happy with your purchase, give us another chance. They're really sweet. Everybody that I've, um, interacted with has been really super sweet. So they're also running a bingo game, which I did not get a card for here. So I will get some details for that and I'll post that on my Instagram stories. But for right now, let's go ahead and get started with brown sugar. And I have not tried these liquids. And when I swatched them, I just used some liquids that I had laying around. So I'm gonna use my handy manny tools here. Pull these liquids, and we're about to find out how they work. So let's just see if they're strong. Um, so some liquids I have to wear a mask because they're so strong, but some I don't. Um, honestly, no, these that didn't smell very strong. That was the base coat, and then this is the top coat. That one's actually pretty strong. Um, and then the activator smells like activator so I'll have those here I'm gonna go ahead and grab my paper towel open up this jar so you can see the powder and this one's brown sugar I'm actually kind of excited this is more of a fall color um, but I don't mind switching it up in the middle of the summer when it's a hundred and 10 degrees here. It doesn't quite matter. I don't really care if it's summer, fall, winter. If you want to wear it, wear it. Okay, so first things first, the base seems to be pretty thin. Um, I almost can't tell there's anything on that brush, so let's just brush it on and see what happens. It applies really nicely. So let's just see how it dips. Okay. So the brush is pretty smooth actually. Um, it glides on really nice. I'm hoping that this brown sugar looks good with my skin tone because sometimes Colors look good on some people and not on others, but we'll see how it looks in the end. It looks really pretty in the jar and it looks really pretty on the swatch. It's got a really gorgeous shimmer to it. 
So far, this base coat is really nice. It applies really smooth, really thin. Um, it does say on here somewhere that, I think it was on one of the instructions, um, the base coat is fast dry, so prepare the powder in advance before the application process. So make sure that the jar is open, that you stir it if you wanna stir it, and then just quickly you know, apply the base coat and then dip your nail in the powder. And we'll find when I dust off if it actually all adhered. So we'll see how fast drying it really is. See if I'm quicker than the base coat. You gotta be quicker than that. If you've ever seen that State Farm commercial. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm funny. I actually like, um, so the liquids are in a clear bottle and I like being able to see the level. So that's kind of cool too. Um, so I don't mind that at all. I'm gonna go ahead and just dust off the pinky and see how much actually adhered. And it looks like it all did. And the first dip is kind of sheer. So we'll go ahead and apply the second dip. Also, so this place, um, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, it's um, the shop is in Garland off of Jupiter Road. And uh, they have this really cool um, thing where you can bring your old dip jars that are empty and get a $4 credit, which I thought was amazing because I have, um, I've got hundreds of jars. So I am gonna go back there if I like this product, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get me some credits and buy some more um, because I love a good deal. And I've been wanting to get rid of my extra jars for so long because, you know, everybody has extra jars. Some people want to buy them from you, like on a, the buy, sell, trade pages and stuff. But um, I just, I, I don't find time for that. And it's so expensive to ship them because they're so heavy if you have a whole bunch of them. So um, anyway, their little shop, it's actually huge. Um, they, yeah, they give you a credit. And I don't know if that is um, double dips policy or if it's the, um, just the, like for online, I don't think you can recycle them online. It's just this in-store thing. Um, so if you're in the DFW area and you feel like visiting them, you definitely take advantage of that deal. But I thought it was really cool that I got to go in and meet a couple of the ladies that uh, work for the company. So that was a nice little personal touch that I think most people don't get to take advantage of. Um, but since I'm so close, I was able to do that. And with the enormous amount of colors, I feel like I could get myself in some big trouble with my wallet. They even sell like loose glitters and stuff, which I thought was cool. I mean, it's just such an overwhelming amount of options that if you're indecisive, it might take a while for you to decide. I'm one of those people that sometimes if I have too many choices, I just can't make up my mind right away. But they do, they have such a variety. They've got like neons, they've got pastels, they've got all the different glitters that you could even think of. Dark colors, light colors. I think I read somewhere that it's over 2,000 different color choices, which is kind of amazing. How can you even come up with that many colors? Okay, so the second layer of this, okay, look how thin. This is two layers. Reflecting the light. That's two layers. The color looks really nice. Um, I did put my peel base on right before this, so that's with a layer of peel base. I mean, they're so thin, it almost looks like I just polished my nails. So, really nice. The And like I said, the base coat does not smell. I think the top coat is a little stronger but it's nothing that I um, can't deal with, so that'll be okay. Let's 
if you guys can see me apply this. And it applies really smooth and really thin. I actually really like the liquids. They're really nice. And so thin. I love thin liquids. So for this video, I'm just gonna do three dips. Um, I don't mind how thin they are, but if you need thicker nails, I would maybe go for four or five dips with, if you're gonna use these liquids um, because they, their powders are actually really fine too. And you know what's really cool about these is you can actually use these powders um, with monomer as well. So they are dual purpose. You can um, dip or you can use the acrylic brush and the monomer liquid and apply it that way. And maybe sometime in the future, I will try that. I've tried that with some dip powders um, and they do not dry. So um, I think this might just have more acrylic in it. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a dual powder. So if you're a nail tech and your customers like acrylic with the monomer because you can build it with the brush then definitely um, consider this brand because I think it's kind of amazing. I'm oh, sorry. Got out of frame there. Um, so far guys I'm really super impressed. This powder didn't clump up on me once. I mean, everything applied really smooth. It's really soft and fine. And um, I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so normally, I don't know, I might cap it in clear, but I don't wanna use a different brand in this video because this is supposed to be a double dip review. So what I'm gonna do is, the base coat trick and I'm just gonna apply base coat over top of each nail to save the shimmer, which I probably don't even have to buff these because they're really smooth, but I am gonna shape them. So we're gonna just apply this. This color is really pretty and I didn't expect to like it on me, but I really do actually like it on me. So we're gonna do the base coat trick, one layer of base coat, and then we're gonna let it dry for a minute and then I'm gonna apply the activator. And what's really cool is that if I mess up my activator brush, I have extras. So not a lot of dip powder companies offer extra brushes. And I think that they should because some people contaminate their brush often and you'd hate to waste a $10 bottle of liquid, you know? So anyway, here it is so far. That is with, um, I didn't even, I only, I used this stick one time, so I was really able to control the liquids. They were really easy to control. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and close up that base bond. And here's the activator, which is their step three. I am going to just grab a couple little towels, that way I can hurry up and wipe the brush off in between wiping my nail so I don't contaminate it. We'll see if it hardens up. So um, the brushes are different. Like the base coat and the top coat, the brushes are black. The act activator, the brush is white. And um, they feel different. Like the, the base is like a texture kind of. The base and the top coat and this one's really smooth. But other than that, I mean, I don't really care. As long as the brush works well and fans out, that's all I need. Okay, so like I said, I am gonna use this buffer. I'm just gonna buff a little bit, but um, I'm gonna use my regular file and then just kind of shape it up a little bit. Honestly, I, I think, um, I really like these powders. I'm definitely gonna go in and buy some more for um, on my own dime because I think that they're worth it. And then if I get that $4 credit, I'll get a two ounce jar 
for like eight bucks. So that's pretty awesome. But this color is really pretty. I can't wait to put the top coat on because um, I am a pretty big snob when it comes to top coat and I like it to be as shiny as possible. And so that's, um, liquids are liquids. Sometimes they're a little thick, sometimes uh, they're a little thin, but you can work with that. It's when the top coat is um, streaky that it kind of turns me off. So we'll see how it goes. But I also like really thin liquids as well, just because I like my nails to be thin. If you're working on cars all day or manual labor, you might consider doing a couple extra layers because that is three layers. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick buff with their little buffer, which I actually really like. I wonder if they sell these on the website because I think I might want more. These are just like the orange ones that I use, but I kind of like that you can hold it a little bit better. And I buy those orange ones in bulk. I think it's like 500 <laughs> per pack. And it takes me a while to go through them. So now um, I'm buffing this, but I have that base coat on there. So I'm not buffing off any of the shimmer. It gives me a little bit of room to work. I just want to kind of smooth them out a little bit. So far, guys, um, I do have a code that if at the end of this, if I like this product enough, I will share the code with you if you're interested in purchasing from them. But I want to make sure I like the product first because I don't want to endorse something that I don't like. So the next thing is I'm just going to apply the final activator. And there we go. I can still see that shimmer. And I did not uh, file that properly. It's a little crooked. So. Activator, um, not very strong. I think I can handle it. So really the only thing that I, um, if you're a beginner, it comes with like, I mean, it has the, the file, it has the extra brushes, it has the buffer, it even has the dusting tool so you can dust off the excess. Um, so you could actually, I mean, get everything you need from them in one shopping trip, which is great. Um, now we are going to go in with the step number four, which is their dip top coat. And I'm gonna, I'm not familiar with this liquid. You should always do this anyway. Just wipe your nails, especially when you do that base trick. Cause I feel like the, um, activator doesn't dry. And I've probably said that in videos before. Um, and I'm not sure how quick this top coat dries either. So we're about to find that out. So dry that off. And then these have activator on them. So I'm going to move those all out of the way. Get me some extra. For my top coat. And then let's go in and see how this top coat works. So top coat is a little thicker than the base coat. I'm going to go ahead and just, actually that just needed one stroke, but I might do one or two quick strokes. I didn't read the instructions, but um, I'm not going to say I'm a pro with this, but I think I know how to use a dip liquids by now. So I'm just going to do it the way that I normally do it. So I'm going to do all five fingers with quick strokes. And then as it starts to kind of crinkle up, wrinkle up, dry up, however you want to call it, um, then we'll go back in with a more detailed coat and see if it is shiny. So. It's actually kind of shiny on the first coat. <laughs> so we'll see how it looks on the second one. I actually really like this color. Be good for around Thanksgiving if you like to do a holiday themed mani. Um, I don't think that the video camera is picking up the actual color because it does have like a hint of pink in it. Okay, so we're gonna go in with our more detailed coat. The brush is still intact. Go ahead and cap those edges. 
see how that dries while I'm doing the others. See how shiny it is. So far it looks pretty shiny. The brushes aren't my absolute favorite, but they work. Um, so I've had way stiffer brushes. This isn't stiff at all. The brush isn't stiff. It's just not like, it doesn't flare. It's not rounded. It's pretty good and it holds the liquid really well. So like the really good thing is it doesn't like the liquid doesn't glob off of it. So it kind of like absorbs the liquid the liquid really well. I'm actually a pretty big fan of the liquids. And I think the brushes, I mean, you know, you get used to using a certain brand and their brushes are like the only ones you like. But I think if you can adjust, which we are human and we adapt, Wow, very shiny. Let's do this last one here. Got a little piece of hair there. That's okay, no big deal. Um, yeah, I think the liquids are amazing. Look at that, look at that shine on them. And they are dry, they're dry. So it just takes a minute or two to dry, but they're very extremely glossy. And that is how thin they are with peel base that I use. And then three layers of dip, another layer of base coat, and then um, the top coat. So that's pretty jamming, very thin. Just kind of see how strong they are. Oh yeah, they're pretty strong. They're not going anywhere. Now we're gonna use this sweet smelling activator. I'm sorry, <laughs> not activator. Don't put activator on your cuticles. Um, this is cuticle oil. And it's nice, it's nice and light. It's got a fresh, like a fresh sweet smell to it. I like to kind of put it like under here too because that kind of gets dried out while you're um, you see, you can see kind of how it gets powder built up under there. I always like to scrape that off with a toothbrush um, while I'm doing my mani, but I kind of worked a little faster with this. And honestly, these, I mean, I was able to work really fast and get a nice outcome here. Beautiful oil is really good. I can't attest to um, if it continues to moisturize, but it definitely, um, it smells good and it works for post Manny, um, post Manny beauty looks beautiful. Okay. So guys, I would say I'm impressed. I really, really like it. Um, what I'm going to do is just kind of pull out everything one more time, show it to you guys. And then I will share my code with you. Cause I think I like it enough to share my code. I think it's really wonderful. I would definitely buy from them again. I'm going to probably tomorrow. I'm gonna go visit. So here are the liquids and they're gonna be backwards just because they're in this little cradle. So you have a dip base, an activator, and a top coat. And then you have your cuticle oil, three dip powders. Splashes here to see if I see those off to the side. And extras. Boom, boom. And then the brush. Super soft brush. So, guys, if you did like this video, please. Um, oh, one more thing. A little buffer block. Um, please do give me a thumbs up. Comments. Um, put them in the comments box below. If you have any questions that I might be able to answer about Double Dip, go ahead and ask. I will leave a link to their website as well as their Facebook community group in the description box. And um, my code is going to be Megan20 and that will save you 20% on their website. So if you're interested in trying Double Dip, go ahead and um, click on the link in my description box and then put in code Megan. 20 M E G A N 20 at checkout, and that'll save you 20%. So, guys, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.